Hey guys, this is Getsumara and welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. Some stay dry while Ethan feels the pain. Heavy rain. The origami killer has Sean trapped in a train. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. So uh, let's get to it. In the last the episode, uh, we learned of between uh, 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, like, yeah, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the Click. victims. That's why he covers yeah, their faces with mud, like to make the them anonymous. Click. And why I does he kill click them every if time he doesn't have it. anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts click. to apologize for what he's done to them. Hey, nothing happened. Very the interesting. Hell? And where does all that get us? Blake, I don't like the tone of your voice. It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been Click. useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. Click. One detail attracted my attention. The Click. interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, Click. give or take 10%. Maybe what that's why they call it heavy be? rain. All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Well, we've seen Sean trapped in the, the storm drain, so that's most likely going to happen. The less time the victim has to live. Dun dun dun. Now I studied the dun, geographical dun, dun. distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he That's becomes, the smart idea. He from his base. When I go over to my friend, I'll have to make sure he's close by my house. I was it's able to beautiful isolate outside a today. The killer might Perfect live. time to kill someone and hide the body. And what size is this? The weather is uh, just beautiful zone. out there. For the moment, yeah, about ten He'll square miles. Probably mile. go like play some football or something. Uh, I don't know. Great. Well, Must be ten thousand people in that sort of area. You get a question well, I mean, one by one. I have a of doing that. It's fun as hell, but I don't know. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't yeah, be shy. Yeah, buddy, what you got? All what you ears. got, Blake? I've always hated you so since day one. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Click. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. Go Blake, for him. I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let Damn me tell right, you those glasses are the shit. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Oh, we're not done with you yet, buddy. Go your for him. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! Oh shit, it's going That's down. Enough. He insulted our glasses, so we gotta throw down. Cause you said we'll just it put took that glove on and beat the crap out of him. Before the victim died. How we'll much beat time the Blake out of him because he's a baddie. If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Looks like we're running out of time. Pulls off glasses. There we go. Yeah, that sets the tone. And actually, it did pull off my glasses, but now I'm too lazy to put them back on, so... Oh well. Let's see who's there. Come on, open up the door, buddy! H Hello, UPS! Uh, we got a package for uh, no Nathaniel Griffin. No time coming here. That, that, we have that would always work. Perfect, anyway. perfect way to There's pull up in someone's house. Dress up as a UPS uniform, say you got a package, and they open the door, rush in. And whoa! This guy's got the same door kick sure as Scott Shelby. Legal. Maybe they're related somehow or know each other. Call the cops. Typical cop corruption. Putting the law into their own hands, not giving a crap about the legal matters. Well, in this case, I can understand why, because, like, you know. Looks like Nathaniel the Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot. There's a light there, the wasn't there? End of the world. We questioned oh, him a few months outside. back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Look at that, cookies voices. and milk. 
had this idea in his what is this freaking Santa Claus cookies and or rather a bowl and milk him. seriously what the hell real twisted ah oh, so he's messed up in the brain eh new dude boot it candles are still lit he should be back soon all right well that's a good uh, teaching Jade we're learning but holy crap look at all the crosses this guy is it's fucked stifling up. Here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives Look, in the Jesus exact geoprofiling zone. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. Holy crap, look at all those drugs. How the hell can you afford all those prescriptions without a job? Any scripture or something on the wall? You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not. The walls are covered with writing. Quotations yeah, from the Bible. Yeah, by the profiler, it doesn't look like he's the killer. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. I don't see why he apartment. could be the killer, but uh, let's go take a look at the door again. Hey, I want to go take a look outside, see if anyone's coming. Dude, come on, let me look at the door. Fine. Let's go in the kitchen. Look at that, more drugs. More drugs. Holy shit. Somebody must be baked off their mind. And is that blood on all those dishes? What the hell? Cause seriously, who eats spaghetti every day of the week? That has to be blood. That has to be blood. What the hell was that? Oh, that's Blake kicking down a door. Stop doing it too much, you'll ruin the trademark. And look! More drugs, who would have thought? This guy is seriously one dope head. Or prescription drug addicted guy, I don't know. Either way, it's too much drugs. Too much. Hey, goddammit. Let's go take a look around. Let's see. Maybe he should be getting back soon, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Watch out, Jaden! Watch out! And Blake's just gonna Good sit timing, there and Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. You don't Relax. look like the guy that's Nobody's innocent, you look like you a anything. dope head, and just one fucked talk. up guy. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Hmm. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. How the hell can you afford all this crap, then? You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Cuckoo. Do you still hear the voices? What voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Who could be talking Dude. to him? Speech. I've got to do something. I guess Blake's trying to break what it, but what good is a confession if he does? Maybe Blake knows what he's doing it. after all. You mustn't talk about it. Mm. The he guy is terrified of Blake. Prey, he really he? thinks he's the Antichrist he or something. More and more. Wow. I gotta stop Blake. He's going too far. No. No. Better just stand down you and leave Blake to it. You'll bring him here. What's he Blake looking for? Why is he pushing him over the edge? Yeah, seriously, dude. He's Shit. gonna make him Blake go is all totally out of his mind. Like I can't just stand around and do nothing. Stop. What's he doing? That's enough. Why is he provoking him like that? So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? 
No! Dude, stop! That, that's a dude. Stop! Don't, don't use you force. If you use force, Daniel. you can't arrest you him confess, you because bastard. then you broke the law. <clears throat> don't kick him in the ribs. God damn. You are the oh shit! Down the gun, Daniel. Daniel. You to your oh crap! What are we gonna do? He's oh god. The son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Uh. Hmm. Drop the, the gun now. Concentrate on my Come voice, on. Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Let's try our one now. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Uh oh. Shit. Take the shot. I. He was gonna he shoot Blake, and although I want Blake to yep. die, Looks like we he did. can't let him die this way. If we're gonna kill him, can't we're gonna do it ourselves. <laughs> Come and on, let's go. 